YouTube welcome to my channel so today I'm going to be showing you what's in my hospital bag but actually no it's not what's in my hospital bag it's what I'm packing for my hospital bag because I haven't packed actually and I think day before yesterday I went to my midwife and we were doing a birth plan and she asked me she was like have you planned have you packed your hospital bag and I was like yeah but i knew i was lying so uh today i'll be packing my hospital bag i've already bought things i bought things th during the weekend so i'm basically going to be packing and showing you what i'm putting in my hospital bag and yeah if i forget something then this will be a good reminder so i can just go back and watch this video and it will remind me of what i forgot yeah. so i was like you know what when i get home i need to do this so i went to the stores and I bought stuff that I thought I needed because with Gungani I bought a lot of stuff that I didn't need and I packed a lot of stuff that I didn't need so basically yeah I'm just going to be showing you what I'm packing so I will be using this bag I hope you guys can see it I got this bag from forever new I think seven years back <laughs> and it's like a mini suitcase basically it's not like the big ones it's just it's very small and the reason why I'm taking the suitcase because I don't want to pack two bags for me and the baby I'll just have a very like clear indication of these are the baby stuff and this is my stuff because I felt like the last time I packed two bags and it was just too much for me so let's just get into it before I start rambling so first and foremost you saw the suitcase that I'm using and let me just remove this mirror. I am going to start with like very important stuff. So this is my folder with all my hospital information, my health, Yonkindo basically, and my numbers. And I'm also uh, my husband's copy of ID, my ID and our marriage certificate. And the reason why I have this in here is because you can register your baby at the hospital and pick up the birth certificate at the hospital which is such a relief because I don't want to go to home affairs with the small baby and I just hate being at the home affairs so basically th this folder is going to go in first and then I'm going to go uh, onto my toiletries so first and foremost I have these maternity pads uh, I usually with Kumgani I bought Dr. White I think but i couldn't find dr white's and i was like oh let me just take these it doesn't really matter because the my midwife did tell me that they will provide sanitary maternity pads so i just bought one pack so that if it happens that they don't have i can use mine and then i have my toiletry bag which has basically everything so it has my skincare this is my moisturizer uh, this is my the night mask that I usually uh, wear before I go to bed and it has my underarm because you need it I don't know when I gave birth I I don't have like a very strong odor but after I gave birth with Gungani I feel like things were just amped up so uh, it was just confusing because to be honest I can go without having to put on underarm for a day do you understand and but after having the baby things were just i don't know guys please tell me like please comment below if this happened to you and then i have my tissue oil from justine i have my protex soap your girls I use us uh, bar soap to wash i don't know it's something that i'm used to and i have my exfoliating gloves i chose the color gray because you bleed a lot and i don't want to like be washing white gloves after washing i have my sunscreen uh, my lip balm and i have my mini fragrances in here <laughs> i know this is so dramatic i have the narciso rodriguez and the isimiyaki pure uh the reason why i brought my fragrances if i'm there for more than a day which i hope i'm not i'm gonna be having a lot of visitors so terms of that i just don't want to be smelling funky 
<laughs> so these are my toiletries basically and i have my shower um, slides i don't know what you call them but i prefer these over like soft comfortable slippers i don't know why i just feel like they're hot and they just make me sweat so i prefer these so i'll be using these in the shower and out of the shower i've been doing that my whole life and it works for me and basically that's all i'm not i'm, I'm not going to bring any makeup or any hair brushes because your girl has cornrows under her wig and if i want to wear a wig i'm sure it will be combed <laughs> and then for the baby the midwife that was helping me did tell me that they do provide a big bag a big baby bag with all necessary toiletries for the baby and i shouldn't be actually buying anything at this time but if uh there's certain things that i prefer using i can bring them along so i really like this cream i've been using it on my on kumkani and i'm going to be using it on my new baby to wash and moisturize to cleanse and basically moisturize him because i feel like when i use this with kumkani he never had any breakouts of any rashes or any eczema or any like issues so i'm gonna try this on the new baby and see how that works out and i just i genuinely just love this cream to be honest and then i got this and the reason i got this is not to wash the baby but to basically wash his face cloths when he's done i don't know i don't know how to explain it <laughs> but yeah just to cleanse them so they can be clean and just to keep the water that the baby's washing just a little bit foamy you know <laughs> yeah and then i got these terry cloth five pack pure cotton face cloths i'm obviously going to need this oh and i got these pampers premium care in size one the reason i got size one is because when i went to my 37 weeks checkup my baby was already past two kgs 2.5 kgs was already past those stages so uh i got these i got two of these because i don't know how long i'm gonna be in the hospital for this bag seems like it's not gonna fit everything oh my god but let's see and then i got a a towel for when the baby's done washing and the reason why i bought one is because i basically have another baby who is like one and with him i was splurging i was excited to have a baby so <laughs> i basically went overboard with him and i bought so many things and i also received a lot of gifts and some of them included included towels so i bought just one for the baby just so that he has a new one but i'm going to be they're going to be sharing towels basically i don't think that there's anything wrong with that <laughs> So yeah, that in terms of toiletries, that's it. And then I'm going to be, I don't know if I'm, I'm going to bring a robe actually. So in terms of robes, I'm not sure. I'm still like thinking about it because the robe that I have is extremely hot. And it's not winter yet. And it's still hot in South Africa. So I am like... I'm not sure but i'll probably bring it so that when i'm having splinter skin and i'm not wearing anything i can just cover myself with that robe i'll think about it but i'm not sure i'm not gonna pack it i'm not sure but in terms of pajamas your girl <laughs> but this my baby's back and he's crying i got the sexy number that I'll wear probably after I give birth. It supports my boobs, actually. That's why I bought it. I don't like the pajamas that they. So you must get the ones with the, with the buttons going down. The reason why I don't like those because I have, a very small torso and, very wide hips. So I will usually get a size, and then it just fits funny. So I just prefer these ones, and then I also got pajamas for after birth, so that I'm comfortable. I got these two shorts I got from I got all my nightwear from True It. So I got this. Somebody's crying for me outside. <laughs> and then uh it comes with the red one. It's, a, it's like it's not really a two-piece, but it comes with two 
basically two pans and one top this one is gonna try switching off my lights <laughs> and then this is a top that I got so it has buttons for me to breastfeed but it's not like buttons going down and I forgot to tell you guys I will be packing nursing bras that I I'm currently wearing one they're from Woolies so yeah we do have a visitor here so you guys will hear funny noises and then in terms of my going home outfit I have the simple blue and white nautical shirt dress that I bought from Mr. Price I think and this is in the size 36 and this is a very simple dress I wore it throughout my pregnancy very comfortable nothing tight so yeah this is my go-to dress to wear what are you crying for hmm? so yeah in terms of me oh yeah and now we will be bringing my charger because i'm obviously gonna need it what's up babe? so yeah that's all in terms of me and then in terms of a baby uh i have these receiving blankets i got from woolies it's a two-pack and that's where I stop with like receiving blankets because Kungani has like a million of them. So in terms of receiving blankets, that's that's all. I'll not be buying anything. And then in terms of socks, I have these white ones that are really cute. And I also got these from Woolies. And I think I don't know where Kungani threw the other. Where the other socks, baby? Oh, and I got these blue ones. You know just for control so basically i have four i have four pair of socks they're quite warm and then i have these onesies that i got from woolies oh you want to lie down oh 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 oh, oh, oh sweetie <laughs> and then i have these onesies that i got from woolies uh it's a three pack for 250 it was basically a special they're really cute got this blue one also super cute uh and this white one because you can never go wrong with white so the reason why i got uh these onesies uh it's because i find them really cute number one and they're very soft and they're comfortable the reason why i bought newborn is because um i feel like with kumgani he was quite big compared to the baby now and the doctor was telling me that your baby's gonna be big he was not that big and he was like no just buy one two three months for now and then you buy newborn if you need to i never bought newborn but they were not like fitting very nicely so i was just like this time i'm just gonna buy a newborn so my baby can look cute i have these hats two of them i bought one two three here because he might have a big head like gumgani and his dad I bought two white hats and I got these from Zara. They are $2.99 for five sleeves. These are long sleeves. I bought these with Kumgani because I feel like the fabric is so much nicer compared to the these ones. I don't know if it's me or it's my head, but these are so much softer actually compared to the ones from Moody's. So I got five of these, the long sleeve ones from Zara. But they usually have they don't usually have a lot of stock so this is what i got and then the short sleeve ones i got them i got two from movies i also got newborn i i, I basically got everything in newborn because i wanted the baby's clothes to fit perfectly uh, yeah in terms of clothes that's all so usually by the time my video ends we have a visitor who's acting crazy well, I think he wants to sleep actually. What time is it? It's probably his nap time. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, look, this one is sleeping. Oh, my sweetie pie. It's his nap time. Oh, guys, my baby's sleeping. But anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to press the bell notification. Those things, they don't cost anything. Give a hala. So just do that so that you can get an email when I upload. 
I will be uploading more this year since I have time on my hands to basically do that. So thank you for watching again. I love you guys.